So this is the desired end state. As we can see, he's looking for a process where he takes a brand new device and he can now push all of his favorite applications onto that device. He doesn't want to install anything in advance on that new device and he wants the entire process to be seamless. So he shouldn't have to press install or press done or anything like that. All of his applications should be pushed silently onto his new device completely seamlessly. So to address that, I've written a custom toolbox script. Now, this will work on your Fire Stick, your second generation Fire Stick, your Fire TV Cube, your Nvidia Shield, and even your generic Android boxes. Literally just one double click, go and grab a cup of coffee, and when you come back, all of your applications will be installed on your new device. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get the latest toolbox, just open up your favorite browser and let's now navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. When you get to my site, you want to head over to the tutorial section and the latest tutorial in the list will be about this new APK installer batch toolbox. So let's open that up and here it is. So this is what the toolbox looks like. Let's scroll down. And the only thing you have to do on your target device is just confirm that ADB debugging is enabled and just confirm what the actual IP address is. That's the only thing you have to do on your brand new devices to push all these applications onto them. Let's scroll down and we're looking for a link to the zip file. So let's click on this thing here, the batch installer, give that a second, and let's click on the green download button. Here is a zip file here. Here is a downloaded file. I can just right click on that and select extract all. Click on extract and that's now all ready to go. So here are the contents of that zip file. We have my uh, toolbox here or my script and then we have three files needed for ADB. And that's pretty much it guys. So these are the only files that you need. And we now want to drag in any application you want to install onto your target device. So you can get these APK files from our website or wherever you can find them online. Just download them and then drag them into this folder here. So in this demonstration, I'm going to install or automatically install five applications. We have Fitzy, we have Icebox, we have Peacock, we have the Aurora store, and lastly, we have the brand new Debloat tool V3, which is something I'm currently working on. So five applications we want to push onto whichever target device that we like. So for this demonstration, I'm going to push all of these applications to my 4K Fire Stick, then to my Nvidia Shield, and then lastly to my second generation Fire TV, just to prove that you can do this exact same process even on the legacy Fire OS 5 devices. So let's now jump over to my 4K Fire Stick, confirm that I have both these options on, go back up one, and then just confirm my IP address, which we can see is 192.168.0.106. Once you've confirmed your IP, we can now go back to the toolbox, and we now just run this file here. So let's double click on that. And this is the Tech Doctor UK batch installed toolbox. You guys asked for this, so I made it for you. So do give a thumbs up for that. So the first thing that the toolbox asks you is, what is the IP address of the device where you want to send all of these applications to? So in my example, we can see that the first device, which is my 4K Fire Stick, has the IP address 192.168.0.106. I type that in and I press enter. Now a key thing it asks you here is, make sure where it says device, it doesn't say unauthorized there. If it does say unauthorized there, that means you need to go onto your device and just accept the ADB prompt. Once you've accepted that, we can now just click on, press any key to continue. Let's do that now. And that's it guys, it's now finding the first application in the list, which was Aurora Store. It says now success. It then goes on to the debloat tool, it says success. And we can see now on the Fire Stick, we're now seeing the prompt saying, these applications have now been installed. That's the third one there. We now have Icebox and just like that guys, so no prompts, no typing in, no me clicking on install for all of these applications. I just run the toolbox once and just like that, if I now go back to my Fire Stick, we can see all of those applications have now in fact been installed on my device. So really as easy as that guys. So these are the four applications here. 
Okay, and that's it guys. We've now configured that device with one double click. All of our favorite applications are now running on this device. Let's now jump over to my shield. Let's see the same process on that. So here we are on my shield. Let me just go over to settings, go to device preferences, go to about, and just make sure where it says build, you press that seven times until you see the message that you're now a developer. Once you see that, we can now go to the developer options and make sure that network debugging is enabled. Once we've confirmed that, and we can see that my IP address is 119. Okay, let's back out of that. Let's now go back to the toolbox, and all we need to do is just double click on that. Let's do that now. Okay, so what's the IP address for my shield? So it's 192.168.0.119. I type that in, press enter. We can see we don't get any unauthorized message, which means we're good to go. I can now press any key. And just like that, guys, we are now pushing those same five applications directly onto the NVIDIA Shield. So it's done the first three. It's now doing Icebox. And again, we can see on the Shield, no prompts, no asking us to press install or anything like that. All of those applications have now been pushed silently on my Shield. And if we now just double check that, and there we can just confirm all those applications have been pushed onto our device without any kind of manual interaction from us. Okay, that's the NVIDIA Shield. Let's now lastly jump over to my second generation Fire TV. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so this is my second generation Fire TV. We just confirmed that ADB debugging is enabled. That's enabled, let's back out of that. And we can see that my IP address ends in 139. Let's back out of that. Let's go back to the toolbox. So what's the IP address of my second generation Fire TV? 192.168.0.139. I can now press enter. We don't see any warnings about the device being unauthorized. I can now just press enter again. And just like that, guys, those applications are now being pushed from my machine over to my second generation Fire TV. And I'm only using five applications in this demonstration. I could put 20 applications or 30 applications, whichever applications I put into that folder, this toolbox will push all of them onto whichever device you're connected to. And as we can just see in the background, those applications are now being installed. Okay, so lastly doing Peacock. And we see the message finished and we can already see all of those icons that have appeared in the background just to show you that all of those applications have been successfully installed. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for a more slicker process on how you can configure your brand new devices, push all of your favorite applications without doing any kind of manual prompts or anything like that. So I do hope you like this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.